guys good morning this is an early morning we're going right now i'm driving right now to this place this lady's place where the 1986 mercedes w124 300 e is and i'm going to be reviving it today hopefully we'll get it running i have a bunch of uh you know parts for it that are actually missing off of that car so i want to go ahead and install those and hopefully get it somewhat running today so yeah that's gonna be a nice trip the weather's not too bad today probably in the 50s um yeah have about an hour and a half to get there amazing 190e baby benz i love this car what a champ Beautiful country roads and everything here. Beautiful state of Washington. Man, it's just uh, so amazing driving around here. It's, I haven't, I've never seen this type of scenery anywhere else. Mountains, lakes, anything you want in one, you know. It's just amazing. machine right there all right guys we've arrived and today my goal is to get this w124 running get it back on the road uh, not fully but at least to start it up so it can run uh, there's a coolant leak somewhere or maybe the head gasket is bad I checked the oil last time the oil is good it's not mixed with coolant or anything but there's no coolant in the engine at all. And today I'm not gonna be fixing the coolant leak. I just wanna get it running. And mainly is the car is missing some parts. So it's missing the EZL map module, it's missing ignition coil, uh, spark plug wires, all that stuff. So I brought all of that. So we're gonna go ahead and install all that and see how uh, she does. And I'm gonna rinse the car off as well. You can see, needs uh, some love. Last time I was here, cleaned it up, but have to do the same thing today to it and i brought some goodies for it as well so this is locked i brought a gallon of uh, fresh fuel um i'm gonna open this i'm gonna have to manually open that somehow let's see if i can do that da, 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 da. Oh. i just opened this up and it looks insanely horrible here look at this this is all clogged up. Ooh. Also brought the sunshade for it for dashboard protection. Amazing machine. See how she's draining. All right, got clogged up a little bit, probably more. So let's go ahead and uh, unclog it. You can use like a hanger too, or whatever. There you go. Now she's draining good. Gotta clean it some more. Look how clean this thing is now.
Pretty good now. Ooh, not too bad. Pretty clean. I'm about to put fuel in there. The best premium. I don't know if it has any fuel or not, but I'm just putting this gallon in there. Alright guys, I'm about to start working on this machine. As you can see, we're missing some parts. Okay, so we're missing the ignition coil, the EZL module. There's some stuff right here disconnected. I'm gonna take the air box off. Oof. Let's check that oil. We got oil in there. It's not too bad, it's pretty clean. Let's go ahead and start uh, taking this guy out. This air box out. I'm gonna start cleaning this area right here for the EZO module. So I'm gonna install that. So clean here. Unfortunately, I don't have the thermal paste for it, but there's still some old one that's left on it. So it should be okay. Clean all this area nicely, kind of. All right, so we've got this uh, used EZL module that I've had in my stash, and it has some thermal paste. Should put some kind of like a plastic bag right here. But that's okay for now. It will be fine. Cleaned out the area right here. Ready to install this bad boy. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly if this car had this specific EZL. Probably had a, diff a little bit different one, but it's okay. I think it's gonna work just fine. As you can see, it doesn't line up because somebody bent that right there. They didn't know what they were doing, sadly. So I'm gonna straighten that guy. Okay, so let's see if we can take this whole thing out as an assembly. Not too bad. Just a little bit of cleanup needed. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> Filter is not too bad actually. I think it was replaced at some point maybe. I don't know. Okay, it's fine. Taking this whole thing as an assembly out now. I want to clean all this. All right, I gotta clean this bad boy a little. Man, this linkage, oh, moving a little rough. Oh yeah, it's gonna have to be lubricated a little here. And this throttle body, 
Oh yeah, you see how slowly it's returning? It's not good. Just gotta kinda exercise it. Okay, so before I clean all this, I just wanna get the car running. And I'm putting a copper paste right now on these threads. Okay, so I'll be straighten that stud. So now, as you can see, the ECO module is sitting in there. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. The nuts for it. All right, guys, so the ECO module is connected. Uh, thank God that uh, all the connectors are there. They were not cut. So I was able to connect those three connectors. That one is not there, so it just depends on the car. This is a 1986 model, so uh, I think the later ones had that other connector. Unless from, yeah, I'm not seeing that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect this uh, vacuum hose to it as well. Can't connect the vacuum hose. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Good for now. Now I'm going to work on the ignition coil. And I got a couple more things disconnected here. This diagnostic port right here and these, these wires were disconnected. It looks like these two are ground wires. And from what I'm thinking, it's they're going right here. And luckily I found this uh, screw that goes in there. It was on top of the radiator, so yeah, well, let's connect this. All right, so I connected that. Still need to put two nuts right here. This one looks like it goes to the crankshaft front uh, crankshaft sensor. Uh, that's okay. So I don't have anywhere to connect it to right now. So there's something else missing. But now I'm gonna move on to the ignition coil. Got brand new ignition coil for it. Gonna go right over there. The only thing is I gotta figure out the mounting bolts. I don't have mounting bolts for it. But there it is. It's gonna go there. Like that. And this ignition coil, uh, it's brand new, but I basically I think I found it somewhere, you know, one of the uh cars. So it's just testing purpose. I don't know how good that brand is, whatever, I don't care right now. Uh, I just mainly wanna see if the car runs i have some bosch and uh ignition coils too if anything but it's just an ignition coil it's not a huge deal okay so this is why i have these metric bolts and nuts really really good idea to have that especially when you're working on things like on this car I can go ahead, grab the nut that I need and install it on that ignition coil. I already installed all the ground wires right there. Okay guys, so here's the deal. I was really worried about one thing because the ignition coil is, this is an early model, 1986. So the ignition coil is sitting at a different spot than later models. And uh, this model doesn't even have the intake air temperature sensor right there. Uh, so because the ignition coil is sitting in that spot, I was worried because I thought that this is the basically the spark plug wire that goes from the ignition coil to the distributor cap and it was going to be too short so i thought oh man the parts store is really far away right now but this is what i got I actually found another one that i had in my stash and this is a lot longer so it's going to reach the you know from the ignition coil to distributor cap right now uh, i actually want to take the distributor cap off clean the contacts send them down and 
sand them down and reinstall everything and then i still need to take the spark plugs out these spark plugs are way over tightened i kind of had to go back and forth on that Well, I guess I didn't notice it at first, but now I just did. It's missing the center pin, as you can see. But luckily, I have a good used distributor cap on me. So we're going to install that. Hmm. Huh. Well, maybe this was a problem why they gave up on this car. It's missing. I don't know. It's kind of unexplainable, but... I'm going to transfer this uh, housing, the plastic housing that's falling apart, to this other distributor cap. Alright, cleaned it up somewhat. And uh, I'm going to clean this area now, right here, from all the garbage. And then uh, I'll sand down this rotor a little bit, right here, from all the rust. Cool. I don't think I brought the sandpaper with me, so I'm just gonna do it with this uh, scotch bright sand this rotor a little from the rust. <laughs> oh yeah, looking really good now. Yeah. All right, ready to install this right now. Cleaned up the rotor. These contacts also got touched up. This is a used distributor cap. All right, guys, we got this connected. Um, three <laughs> bolts are tight. Good to go. And I can start uh, working on my spark plugs. I'm gonna take spark plugs out, and then I'm gonna put oil in there, whether trans oil or other oil also what i noticed guys i was wrong actually it does have coolant in the system so when i squeeze this you can hear it like let's open this up there is coolant in there actually but i think like they were saying the head gasket is blown yeah, because it's got milkshake. But it does have something in there, okay? So that's good news. At least hopefully when we get it running, we can run it longer a little bit. Just want to hear this engine roar again. Let's start with spark plug number one. I'll take it out. Clean it a little. Put grease on the threads later. No, the main thing is I wanna I wanna put oil in there. Oil, oil, oil. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of transit oil in each cell in there. Like that, let it soak. And then I'm gonna do this the same with the rest of the spark plugs, and then I'm gonna take them out. And I'm gonna Turn the engine by hand i have the 27 millimeter socket the gap appears to be really huge on it bar spark plugs soaking the rest of the cylinders got all the spark plugs out I'm about to uh, crank this engine or actually by hand first now we're gonna crank it okay guys spark plugs are out crankshaft sensor disconnected about to connect the jumper i don't have a battery the battery's been missing on this car and yeah we're gonna try to crank, crank this car over guys this door stop is broken too well, it's got these keys though that's kind of cool the light Ooh, i love this it's like an airplane I think I heard the fuel pump. Yeah. I think my jumper is not enough. 
But yeah, I was able to crank it over. Let's check the, the fuel pump was uh, working. I heard that fuel pumps. Yeah, so we're good on there. I'm gonna reinstall the spark plugs and see if I can charge up this thing a little bit. I'm adding copper paste to these spark plugs. That way they will never seize. Yeah, so I just wanna see how this baby is gonna do. Okay, cleaned up the airflow plate and now I just need to start lubing up all these joints and linkages because this thing is not moving well at all. It's like getting stuck. I gotta lubricate all this here. I gotta exercise this a little bit. Okay, new spark plug wires. I'm gonna install those right now. Okay guys, so. I got everything set up obviously this doesn't look factory there's upper and lower uh spark plug wire holders missing there's a bunch of other stuff but right now i just want to see if it runs whatever else you know okay so i have my jumper that's discharged and i connected this one as well let's see hopefully this baby starts up let's try it let's try it Amazing machine. Yes, please. Ah, it's cranking, but no start. Could be a fuel, too. Man, I don't know how long this hasn't run. think that it's got fuel issues i put a gallon in it maybe it's not enough i don't know how low it is but i put, I put some fuel down the intake no maybe this one's just not opening like it should huh on this while you're cranking <clears throat> the door doesn't open all the way it's only this much there's a broken door strap so oh. yeah it's probably just rusty not not uh, broken but yeah okay go ahead try it out Is it working? Hold on. It doesn't crank? Uh-uh. Did you turn it all the way? All right, stop. That's fine. <laughs> that's okay. It's just, uh, there, there's a lot of oil residue. That's why it's gonna be smoking if it starts. But it, it's, it was a good sign. It was a good sign. <laughs> Just hold on. Let me reset my power thingy. Uh, I guess it's like low on juice. Okay, try to crank it. See what happens. All right, that's fine. Let it sit for a little bit. It's trying. I don't know. Maybe the... 
I put one gallon of gas in it, but the level, the gauge is showing basically almost nothing. So yeah, nothing. I don't know if the level, the gauges or in a, the sensor in the tank is just gummed up or do, actually doesn't have anything, you know? Yeah. So I don't know that, but it's almost running. It's almost good to go. <laughs> Let's see. Could you, if they have it, maybe like one more gallon. Okay, hold on. For time. <laughs> She's alive. Baby's alive. Hell yeah! <laughs> Woo! She is alive! That is crazy! Well, it's been three, four years or something, right? Oh, yeah! That's crazy. All right! Obviously, got exhaust leak, whatever, but it is what it is. Someone tried stealing, I think, cats on this thing, that's why. God, that car doesn't sound like it's been three or four years, does it? No, they're amazing cars. They don't make them like they used to. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you gotta take care and love these cars. Yeah. That's why I keep it at home. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, oh, now it's showing right there. Yeah, she's alive. Baby Benz. See if the lights work. No lights. Cluster lights are working though, I kind of saw, but it's probably just a fuse. Yeah, let's mess with the fuses real quick. These cars are so amazing that, oh man, nothing, nothing scares these cars. Someone's been here. They stole a bunch of shit. Assholes. Apparently they thought that uh, this was a parts car, but it's not. There's no such a thing as parts car for us. Save all these amazing machines. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Well, the only thing, I have this uh, cover right here or the, the slip of uh, paper that shows which what's, what fuses for what. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find that, but yeah, there's some stuff that was stolen, I guess. Yeah, turn signals not working. Brakes are still good. Yeah, reverse, neutral, shifter bushings are gone. Yeah. Let's see if it will go forward a little bit. It's sat here for a while. That uh, maybe the fluid is low. No, it moves in reverse. There we go. Nice. Man, this car is a champ. Even with a blown head gasket, look, it's still holding the temperature right there. It's 
Oh my goodness, man, I don't wanna move this. I don't wanna break this, it's like really stuck. This baby, man. Accelerator mechanism, it's all back to life. Not sticking anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, Che, the valve is actually leaking on the tube. It's got old gas too. Could be O-rings leaking. Okay, so installed the fuses that needed to be installed and 11-12 are vacant and tightened up the rest of these screws. We install this now we should have a bunch of stuff back to life. And I also lube up all these uh, doors while I'm at it. Have the automatic trans oil, all these locks. Loop them up. Okay, guys, forgive me, it's dark, but cleaning all the drains now. This drain is all good now. I'm just gonna clean up all that central and everything there. Putting the airbox back in, all cleaned up. Nice. Yeah, definitely this car has a. Uh, the gas is really bad in this car, so we're gonna add a little bit more gas, but uh, yeah, it's, this engine is a life. It's amazing. Got most of this area cleaned up. All the drains here on clock, there's still obviously cleanup that's needed here and there, but all of this area is actually pretty decent. So in the trunk, we just have some goodies here. This fender, and those moldings that are missing, and uh, just fluid filming a little bit of stuff and cleaning this drainage here. Yeah, other than that, it's not too bad. Things are pretty good. Just gonna do this. And then I want to fluid film everything here. Oh, look at this bullshit. Oh, man. Look at this bullshit. Self-tapping screws. Oh, my God. That's not good. That just ruined my mood. <sighs> oh, man. I hate people. I hate people. Look at this. One, two because the hooks broke probably and they didn't want to glue them back on and didn't know they didn't know how to install the door panel or remove it properly idiots that's okay at least the, the panel is in pretty nice condition actually okay I also found this uh, in the back seat, 
the wiper seems to be in a better shape. Maybe, maybe. Actually, no, I, th I don't think it is. Haha, <laughs> light. I don't think it's in a better shape. It's probably like falling apart. I was gonna put it on here. What's really cool is this car still has a valet key and also a regular key. Yep. And another thing I noticed, which is actually really cool, this is an early M103. Look at the injector holders. They look way different than the later ones. It's pretty badass. And I think I mentioned this doesn't have the air intake temp sensor too. Okay, we can try it. Oh, thanks. I needed that. Go. Just turn the key to the on first, so the lights come on. What? Just, just turn the key to the on position, so the lights come on first. Okay. okay. There we go. Hold on. Go ahead. Try to start it. Uh, hold on. I guess my jumper. Just wait. Just wait. I think uh, it was a bad contact. Is it? Stop. Mm. No, hold on a sec. Yeah, it's not even trying now. Guys, she started, what I had to do is, uh, I think I was just giving her too much fuel at that time. I had to take the spark plugs out, clean them, or they were fouled with, uh, you know, in um, fuel. So, there she is. Yeah, I took all six spark plugs, and spark plugs are also old. The gap was like really huge in, on those spark plugs. So, yeah. It. Amazing machine. I added a bunch of stuff, uh, all the fuses, but the headlights are still not working. Nothing is working. Turn signals are not working, so they probably something is missing in there. Probably, I actually haven't checked, <laughs> but it's okay. At least all the fuses are there now. Corrosion there too. Blower motor fuse is there. This one is loose too, and they were trying to take this one out. I don't know. But it's okay. She'll be back to life. It's an amazing legendary car. This car was made in the 86, I think 86. 86 or late 85. Oh, June 1986. How about that? This is an early model. Look, this is a different. It's crazy. It's a different style. Or I don't know. Someone added it, or it's like that from the factory. Because I'm used to seeing like different ones on 124s. that that's crazy that's a rare option 124 wow that's that's insane uh, it's working nice antenna radio sony guys let's look at the options real quick right so we got Obviously a rear mirror or a right side mirror electrical uh, power windows um, Power seats with memory on this side 
no memory on that side. The steering wheel is telescoping. Uh, it's not working right now, but it doesn't matter. Uh, what else? We got uh, automatic climate control. Yeah, uh, antenna, electrical antenna. Man, this is cool right here. This this switch, man. You don't see that on 124s that much. Yeah, and I brought this right here. We're gonna put a sunshade on this thing too, just in case. Uh, mirrors a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad. Wow, this this is the coolest thing right here. This is what I love. Alternator is uh, also charging. 